y'all it's Taryn welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another style Saturday so in this video we are styling flare jeans for fall I want to say thank you to Kelly for suggesting this I will put her comment here on the screen it was either flare jeans or mini skirts that was also a highly requested video I only own one shorter type skirt so I think what we'll do this week obviously is the flare jeans and next week we'll do the short skirt and style it for fall if you're not familiar with style Saturday the point is to not buy anything it's to style items you already own for the new cooler season I have five pairs I'm looking at them hanging right there five pairs of flare jeans I didn't realize I had that many but I have light wash dark wash um, black and then a charcoal type color so I've pulled them all we're gonna style them different ways I will list what I'm wearing and if I can find a link to it I will put it in the description box but again the point is to not buy anything new for this video if you are going to style some pieces you already own please do so and tag me using the hashtag style Saturday with Taryn yes it's long but it's specific to this series so that I can see um, how you're styling these pieces I'm really loving this series I already have uh, plans when it does get cooler where I live to go back and watch these videos to style things so that I style them differently than I typically would every other day of the week. And the comment section tells me that y'all really like this series too. The point of not having to buy anything. I know most of us, including me, I can't afford a new wardrobe every new season. So this series has really helped me to see my items in a different way. So I always pull pictures from Pinterest. I will leave my Pinterest board link down below. And then usually I throw in a wild card, which I have one in this video that I'm excited for. So enough talking, let's just get into the styling. All right, first outfit. I chose this one first for two reasons. Number one, I sort of committed a big no-no for my series and made a purchase for this video, but hear me out. I was at Cato Fashions last week, week before last, uh, grabbing some things for a video, and I spotted plus size belts, and we know how hard those are to come by, so I actually went back this morning and got two belts for this video. So this is one of them, it was $9.99. I am justifying it because these things, I don't see plus size belts anywhere. And if I do, they're very expensive. So I got this brown one. I also got a leopard print one that you will see a little bit later on. So I kind of broke my own rules, but I feel like it's justified. So this first outfit, I also wanted to show you because I ended up keeping this Barefoot Dreams cardigan from a trunk club. And you better believe your backside that we're going to show up because it was $116. So I purposely searched for an outfit to pair this cardigan with. Now the colors are a little bit different in my version uh, than the picture, but I think that's okay. So this obviously the Barefoot Dreams cardigan is in a size 3X. This tee is a pale yellow, just cute little cotton tee from H&M. Belt again is from Cato Fashions. These jeans I got in a fashion box and they're all sorts of amazing. Dark wash, they've got an elastic in the waist. They do zip and button though. And then these boots I got a couple years ago as a Christmas gift. They're the brand Corks. Here's what they look like. And I just got my initials put on them. So they didn't come that way. I took them years ago and added the initials. I love everything about this outfit. I do feel very um, like farm chic, almost like I live on a farm, but I wanted to dress up for some reason. I think it's the belt with the boots and the shirt tucked in, but this is a really cute and cozy outfit. I do have another cardigan that might go a little bit better. I will show you that one as well. You've seen this several times. It's the brand Verve Ami. I'm pretty sure I got it in a Stitch Fix box, maybe. Ooh, that's what I'm thinking. Mm, see, I think I like the lighter one. I think it just goes a little bit better. 
Um, I do have this top in a light blue and a beige, so I could kind of switch it out if I wanted to pair it different for the darker cardigan. But this, I'm kind of impressed with the first outfit. I like it too without the cardigan, just with the top tucked in with the belt, I think it's pretty. But obviously if it's cool outside, then you need a little something over it. So here we go, outfit number one. I feel like I did pretty good with this one. So this is an outfit. I have worn a version of this several times, maybe not these exact pieces, but a lot of times when I think flare or boot cut or jeans that are a little bit wider at the ankle, I always wanna pair them with Converse because I think that's just a cute, casual way to do it. But when I saw this picture on Pinterest with the dressier jacket, I kind of loved it. So this jacket is from Old Navy. This black tee was also from Old Navy. These are the same jeans you just saw. And then obviously a pair of Converse. Now forgive me if you see lint all over this. I just spent the past probably 10 minutes lint rolling this black jacket and I don't think that I got everything off of it. This could be really cute too if you wanted to dress it up and throw on um, maybe some like boots with it and then a big scarf, some chunky earrings, but keep the same jeans. And I think it's still a cute look. So this one I'm pleasantly surprised with. Did I say that already? I just think, I don't know if I've said this in these style Saturday videos. I'm pretty sure I have, but these also really help me um, to pair things different ways and in, in ways that I didn't think that I would like at all, but I end up really liking like this outfit. I'm super comfortable. These jeans have a ton of stretch in them, but they are actual denim jeans. They're not jeggings and the sneakers with this dressier jacket. So this is one that if it gets cold enough, if, then uh, you will see me wear this one for sure. We're just gonna stick with being a little bit country apparently today. So this top is from Rose Gal. You'll see it in an upcoming video. I think next week you'll see this one, but it's a beautiful green, the perfect fit. These are actually Anthropology Flare light wash jeans. I got them off Poshmark. The only thing is they don't have belt loops, so I just sat the belt here on my waist. And I have foregone the original boots I was wearing, and I put on these cowboy boots. I got these at Target probably like 10 years ago. We're very country in this outfit. Again, I think it matches the picture pretty well. I don't typically tuck everything in, but I wanted to show you what it looked like with the top tucked in. And I think it looks cute like this too. So here's another way to wear it. So you may like this way better. I think it's super cute both ways. I would probably wear it untucked just because I'm a little bit more comfortable that way. Um, but I do think it's really cute with the belt. And I think that I kind of, nailed the picture. We're very rocker chic, I feel like, in this one. But is it too much animal print? So this is the leopard print belt I also got from Kato. It's the exact same style, just in this faux fur leopard print. These jeans are universal standard. I got them on super sale and did a video on them, so I will link the video down below. This top is from Bella Rose. And then these are leopard print little booties from a local boutique here in town. I'm only unsure of the animal print because it's different patterns or different colors. The belt is um, a lighter color and the shoes are darker. We switched out for these Ralph Lauren booties. You've seen them so many times. I do like that they give me a little bit more height so the jeans aren't dragging on the ground. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think down below. This outfit, I do like it though. I'm just struggling a little bit with shoes. Do you feel like I am forever trying to make this cropped sweater work? I got this from Madewell, I'm pretty sure in a trunk club box, maybe two years ago. And I've worn it in the house. I haven't worn it out because I sort of struggle with how to style it because it is cropped. But I have these jeans from Fashion Nova Curve. They're dark wash flare jeans and they have the really pretty buttons here. So I thought that the crop sweater so that you can see the buttons was really pretty. These are super high-waisted. 
real high-waisted. So the crop sweater, I think, sort of complements them. I just put on the same boots with my initials on them. Now I could tuck the front of this in, but I think they're, I think they're too high-waisted to do that. Are they? Yeah, I think it looks a little bit silly because they're so high um but this is very comfortable these jeans do have quite a bit of stretch to them um they're a great length on me as well with a little bit of a heeled boot and here's what it looks like from the back all right i think i like the sweater this way more than remember i paired it with the white denim um i just think the dark with the flare jeans is really cute i think this is my last pinterest inspiration photo recreation i want to throw in an outfit that I have recreated from a person that I follow on Instagram and I really like her style. So I'm hoping that I can pull it off. This last photo is inspired by a woman named Molly on Instagram. I will leave her Instagram link down below. This picture, I believe is a screenshot from one of her reels. She is notorious, in my opinion anyways, for pairing just a solid color t-shirt like this with a pair of jeans, tucking it in and throwing on some boots. Now she sometimes wears a belt. I don't own a black belt, we know that, um, but she doesn't always wear the belt. Uh, so I thought that this maybe could be a cute dupe for her photos. This top uh, is from Reb Dolls. I actually did an entire style Saturday with this t-shirt showing how to style oversized or baggy t-shirts. These jeans are Wit and Wisdom. They're more of a boot cut. And the shoes are Lucky Brand Water Booties. I don't know if this works so much for me. She typically does it with straight leg or cropped jeans with booties or boots. And I think that looks really cute. But I owned these jeans and they're this really pretty wash. Um, so I wanted to give it a go. I also put my hair up to kind of make it a little bit more sporty. My favorite is probably the black jeans with the distressed tee with the leopard belt. My second favorite would probably be the first one with the light colored cardigan. Yes, um, I do like this one. I just think that I probably need to uh, try a little bit different of a bottom and it might look a little bit better. I kind of like this one as I'm standing here. Maybe if I put my hair in a bun. I'm more of a bun type gal anyways, versus a pony. So let's see. <laughs> hmm. All right, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.